All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, man. You know, the Lord and Savior of your so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans. Um, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. On double honors to the elders, the apostles at Great Millstone. Say, take peace and love to the elect around the uh, four corners of the earth, man. Today I'm gonna do a lesson on basically what's um going on in the news today, man. Cause you had what the, what you had the um so-called historic meeting yesterday between the president of North Korea, you know, and the um and the ruler of uh, um. You know, the ruler of North Korea and the president of the United States, man. You know, which they was making statements like, this finna bring extra safety to the world and, and security, man. But what they don't understand is, man, you know, the, the, the Heavenly Father, man, you have a why, you have a shot. They control when it's gonna be peace, you know. And, 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 and it's not gonna be peace, man. Until the Lord come back. And to the Lord, you know, our Lord and Savior, man, which, like I said, his true name is Jehovah Shai, which he is the Prince of Peace, man, you know, but before peace, it's going to be war, man, you know, so no matter how these nations try to meet and come together and have peace, man, you know, it's not going to be no peace up on the earth, man, you know, until the true children of the Most High, man, which, I, hey, is, which is the children of Israel, you know, are back in their land. Under the rulership, uh, you have a why, you have a shy, in the, in, in the order under that, man. You know? So, for you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you supposed to be watching what's going on, man. You know, you supposed to be um, watching the prophecies and, and, you know, and, and see what's going on, man, because everything that's happened leading up. To, to the return of, of, of our Lord and Savior, man. And two-thirds of our people not going to accept this truth. Two-thirds of our people can't say, get this truth, man. You know, but for that one-third, man, hey, it's time to keep watch, man, because these are historic things happening, man. You know, it's going to be a historic thing, man, when the Lord make his second return and redeem the elect of his people, man. You know, um... Throw it off in First Thessalonians. This First Thessalonians, um, chapter five. I'm start at verse one. It said, but of the times, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, man. You know, so we understand that, man. But we're going to get that word, I'm going to get that word, um, slack. I'm going to get that word thief right there, man. Because, you know, for, for the, um, for the elect eyed people, man, who starting to understand this word, and who been understanding this word, man, you know, it's, gonna, it's not going to catch us as a thief in the night, man. But for two thirds of our people, it is, man. And it's going to tell you why. Because I'm, I'm going to get that word thief in the Greek. Strong's G, 2812, Kleptase. 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 And the definitions is an embezzler, a pilferer. It said the name is transferred to false teachers who do not care to instruct men, but abuse their confidence by their own gain, man. So that's why I say it should come as a thief in the night, man. You know, but it's going to come as a thief in the night. To our people 
who follow these false leaders, man, these false teachers, man. Because this is the word thief going into it said an embezzler, a pil pilferer. They say the name is transferred to false teachers who do not care to instruct men, but abuse their um, confidence for their own gain, man. Come, man. Right, man. And we're gonna I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna get some precepts on that, man. When they say that false teacher, man, who who who, who not instructed men, but basically worrying about their own gain, man. Because if you if you in the churches, man, your past supposed to be going into it, man. He's supposed to be breaking on what's going down right now according to Bible prophecy, man. Revelation 19 and 10, man. The testimony of Yahweh Shah, which whom the word ignorant calls Jesus Christ, is the spirit of prophecy, man. You know? I'm going to get, um... Get Ezekiel 13. Start at verse 1. And, and the title of this is Prophesy Against the False Prophets, man. Like the title of this chapter. And it's by, um, it said, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord, man. You know, because these preachers, um, they basically prophesy out of their own heart, man. Because the word prophet also goes back to preacher, man. To say before, man. So, you either a prophet sent by the Most High, man. If you take these words and, you know, and, 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 and put them out there. Because this, these are words of prophecy, man. You know, you either a false prophet or you're a prophet of the Lord, man. You know, either one, man. And they say, thus says the Lord power. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing, man. You know? He said, O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the deserts. And it's talking to the Israelites, man. So I pet your pastors, they like foxes in the deserts, man. If you look that word fox up right there, it'll go into jackal, man. Then you look jackal up, it'll let you know a jackal is an animal that, that feeds off dead flesh, man. You know? It feeds off dead flesh, man. You know, um... Which that's what the pastor do, man. He feeds off your ignorance, man. Because you spiritually dead and don't know the truth. So that's why I say your prophets are like foxes, man. In the desert, man. You know? It said, ye have not gone up into the gaps. Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Right, man. Because they supposed to be um, made, making up a hedge for you. So you can stand in the day of battle, man. You know, they supposed to be warning you to what's what's going what's coming, man. Or what's finna happen, man. You know? Because it's the hey, the battle is coming, man. You know, Armageddon coming, man, the amount of the troops, man. So no matter how these nations try to have peace and, 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 and try to meet and, and calm everything down, man, it's the Lord that mustered the war, man. No matter what type of agreements they come to, man, you know, the Lord hey the Lord um the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, man. He will it with, with us whatever he will, man. You know? So, um, it's verse 6. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying the Lord said, and the Lord have not sent them. And they have made others to hope that will confirm the word, man. Come. Right, man. So, I'm, I'm going to stop right there, man. You know? I'm going to get another precept, though. Because it said, instead of instructing the people, they going after their own game, man. This is Isaiah, um... This is Isaiah, chapter 56, starting at verse 10. It said, his watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. And it's talking about Israel. The, the, hey, the title of this little part of the, um, when it started at verse 9, it said, The failure of Israel's leaders, man. You know, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are dumb dogs that cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber, man. Right. 
Yay, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough, man. Because your watch was supposed to be warning, man. Dogs barks and, and, and warn you and let you know of trouble there. Uh, you know, it just let you know if somebody there, period, man. You know, um, say, yay, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter, man. Right, so going back into that definition, and um, and you say they fail to instruct the people, basically looking to their own game, man. I'm read it again. He said, an embezzler, a pilferer, the name is transferred to false teachers who do not care to instruct men, but abuse their confidence, but abuse their confidence for their own game. Going until they are like jackals, man. You know. But that's why I say it should come as a thief in the night, man. Because these these pastors, your pastor's not warning you, man. Um, it's one more scripture I want. Me. Me get second ears. Because second ears link up with um. When they say they have not um put an edge around for the house of Israel, so that they may stand in the day of battle, man. It's the second Israel chapter um sixteen verse thirty nine and forty. It said, Even though shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, because this the Israel, hear my word, make ye ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. He that sell it, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buy it is one that will lose, man. So this need to be your mind frame. No matter you might have businesses or what you got to work, but your mind frame need to be shit. Whenever this jump out, hey, I know it can jump off any time, so none of this mean nothing. He that occupy merchandise as he that have no profit by it, and he that build it as he that shall not dwell therein. Right. He that saw it, because you still got to go on with your day-to-day -day life, man. But you can't, you can't let the curves of this life blind you of what's going on, man, or what's finna happen, man. Uh, he that occupied merchandise as he that have no profit by it. And he that build it as he that should not dwell therein. He that soweth as he that, as if he should not reap. So also he that planted the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall not no children, and they that marry not as the widowers, come. And therefore they labor, labor in vain, man. Come, man. So this need to be your mind frame, man. Uh, 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 um, this need to be your mind frame, man. You know? Because like I said, you had to go on with your day-to-day -day life. You got, you might have businesses, man. You know, whatever it is, your mind frame need to be. It can jump off at any time, and none of this really means nothing, man. You know? Um, right, man. But what are your pastors telling you, man? Prosper in America. It's going to be all right. Pray for America. God bless America. Nah, that's a lie, man. All hell, chaos. Like I said, plagues going to come upon the world on every side, man. You know? And this is what your pastor should be telling you, man. You know? Now I'm going to go back to the, um, there was one more precept I wanted to get going into that, um, your leaders fail, false teachers fail to instruct thee. And use your confidence by their own game, man. This is on John chapter 10. Verse 11, starting at verse 11. It says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not, see if the wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catches them and scattereth the sheep, man. So this this is going to be the fate of a lot of you people in those churches, man. If you're not part of that elect and you steady following those false teachers, when this shit, when it went, it's a lot of screaming my language, man, you know. The scripture tell you we sent this on uh, sheep in the midst of woods, man. But when all this hell break loose, man, your pastors 
they, they got something called the clergy response team, man, through FEMA, man, which a lot of these pastors have been to class and training. They going to steady be teaching you to, to um, whether you in concentration camps, man, you know, uh, they, they, uh, 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 however they're going to have it set up because they do got the concentration camps, man. They're going to have re-education camps. A lot of your pastors still going to be teaching at that time, man. They're going to still be teaching you, look, it's just like this right now. You got to obey the government, man. They're going to be, they're going to be, they're going to be telling you to accept the chip, man, which is the mark of the beast, man. You know? Why? Because he is a hireling, man. The majority, hey, your pastors are hirelings, man. Anyone under that 501c3 charter contract with the government are hirelings, man. They getting funded and paid by the government, man. It said the hireling flee because he is a hireling and care not for the sheep, man. Right, man. Because somebody getting paid to do a job, man. He just there to get paid, man. You doing this thing. The Lord said freely you have received, freely, um, freely give, man. You know, so these pastors just doing what they doing for the money, man. Stop paying them, man. Stop paying them. Stop, stop giving them all your money and, watch, and see if they're going to continue to show up, man. You know? And I'm just I'm gonna stop right there, man. But I'm gonna go back. I just want to hit the old points on that definition for um for a thief, man. Because it's gonna catch a lot of people off guard due to their pastors, man. Get that definition again. Said the name is transferred to a false teachers who do not care to instruct men, but abuse their confidence for their own gain, man. And that's going to when they say. It's the, the day of the Lord should come as a thief in the night. I'm going to the root word and see what it what it come at. Now that's it on it. I'm gonna keep going. Um, back in Thessalonians, uh, First Thessalonians, man. It's First Thessalonians chapter five. Um, Verse 2 again. For you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord is so coming as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they should not escape, man. Right, man. So, we'll get that word peace right there, man. Because that's what they saying right now. The world finna be a more peaceful place now, man. Just because Trump and Kim Jong-un and Mitt, man. You know? We're going to get into that too, man. Because you got the, you got Moab going to play a key role in, 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 in bringing America down, man. Especially for us um, economically, man. And you've and you seen it in the news with the Petro One, man. But it's only going to continue to go. Because, see, all Trump trying to do is he's been trying to Talk it out with China, man. But China ain't listening, man. China, China, China on their own thing, man. China got China, um, got all type of contracts in Africa, man. Um, China basically own all the ports of, um, on the west coast of America, man. Own a lot of farmland on the west coast. A lot of on um, land in Texas, man. Through through default. Uh, 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 those bonds and treasures they, they they bought from the U.S. man, and they and the U.S. defaulted on them in 2008, man. So China been making power moves, man. And even though the elites playing both sides of the game, man, China still Moab still they Moab still in their own mind trying to figure out a way they think they gonna control shit, man. You no. Know? Um. Get that word peace right there though. Strong's G, 1515, Irene, Irene. Irene. And this is where it says, when they should say peace and safety, man. It say a 